Morning everyone, welcome to Vlogmas. I just got yesterday's vlog up, I'm working on the next one. This is what Vlogmas is. Videos are constantly in my mind. All I think about is editing, getting the next video up, importing my footage, figuring out what to film, but I love every part of it. It may sound like a lot of work and it's definitely a lot of work. It's not easy, but when you enjoy it and you look forward to it, that's how you know you really love it. Watching back all the footage, especially the ones with family and friends or trips. It's so fun. I feel like I get to relive so many memories. So thank you for watching my videos. It means a lot. I'm gonna do some Christmas shopping. I'm gonna order my brother's Christmas gift. Ever since going to New York, he's been really into clothes and streetwear. I think I'm gonna order him a few winter pieces. My dad makes the best lattes. I'll talk to you guys in a little. I'm on my way to pick my sister up from school. It's for me. Did I order something? I'm really curious what this is. Cause I don't think I ordered anything. I'm just gonna open it. <gasps> oh, it just clicked. This is for Lindsay. Or Lindsay ordered this. It's the midnight hoodie. Wait, this is actually really cute. Taylor Swift Midnight. This is the back. Super oversized. I really like the color. It's like this pretty sky blue. This is perfect because we actually did get Taylor Swift tickets. If you were also trying to get tickets, you know it was a whole ordeal. I was on my laptop for hours and hours. The whole Ticketmaster thing was a disaster. I didn't get tickets, but Nat pulled through. She got us five tickets in the lower bowl. So we are all going in July. Thank you again, Nat. If it wasn't for her, we would not be going to this tour. Yeah, Shirley pulled through for us and it's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. So late. You usually come out like this in a cold. Why do you? Ah. Oh, you're so vicious. I love to, but I wish I didn't. So vicious. Mmm. How long did you wait? I don't know, 10 minutes. You got out, you I get out at 3.15. 5 minutes, 5 minutes. Oh my gosh. I've been here before and waited 20 minutes for you. So you cannot talk. What, do you want food before Barnes? What do you want? Is there food near Barnes? Isn't there that Mediterranean food place? Yeah, Yala? You want to yeah. there? Let's try that. Got a mini salad and bacon chicken. So it looks really good. Go to it. Oh, okay. Got a frozen yogurt with honey. Wow. It's so good. I've survived Holly Jackson's new book. It's super empty on a weekday. During December, especially, we come here all the time. I finished my book, Book Lovers. I'll talk about it more at home, but. It was so good. It's in like real time. So in the time you read it, it, that's what's happening in the book. Unless you're a slow Unless reader. Unless you're a slow reader, but that's pretty cool. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna check out. Red, 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 red. red. So bad. This trilogy is red. not good. Oh, you you read Serpent Dove? No, the shadow. Hold this, hold this up. Oh, it's the sweatshirt. Yeah, look at it. Oh, okay. It's so cute. You made me think it was something big, but. That was anti <laughs> That was so anticlimactic. It's cute. It's cute. Is it a little big? I think oversized is the five Hi. Is there anyone else here? Hey guys, we're back home now and I wanted to share my top books of 2022 because this year I set a goal for myself to read 20 books and I ended up reading 24. I'm on my 25th book right now and I'm super proud of myself because last year I think I only read three books. I grew up reading a ton. I love books and yeah, last year I just didn't read enough. So I made sure to set a goal this year and I exceeded it, which I'm really happy with. These are my top books of the year. I tried to narrow it to five, but I couldn't. So I'm gonna break it by genre. I branched into a couple new genres this year. I keep a list of all the books I read and the date I finished them. 
These were actually the first three books I read in February, the first series of the year. It is Holly Jackson's A Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. This is a mystery series. It's about a girl who lives in a town where there was a murder. And for her senior project, she's reopening a closed case. It's a crazy wild journey. The first one was definitely the best. These books are so well written. I sped through all of them. They're really fast paced and keep you engaged the whole time. So many twists and turns in this book. I really don't want to spoil much, but if there's one series to read, it's this one. Five out of five stars, highly recommend. My sister does all the annotations as she reads. The next genre I got really into was romance slash contemporary. I used to think these kind of books were so boring and never would read them. So this is Colleen Hoover's newest book. If you're on Book Talk, you know she's huge. People love her books. I think I read about six or seven of her books this year. And so far I've enjoyed all of her books, but this one really stands out because it's heartbreaking. It's about a mother who was in jail for five years. And when she's released, her daughter is four years old now. She doesn't know her. So it's about starting a relationship. You learn all about the past, the tragic mistake that landed her in prison in the first place. This book is all about healing, hope, recovering from the past and looking forward. Few books make me cry. I think I teared up at this one. It's such a beautiful story. I think I would give this a 4.5 out of 5. This next book, you've probably seen the cover. It's huge. It was a bestseller this year. It's Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. A lot of the books I read this year were very highly raved books. This book exceeded all of my expectations. Don't let the hype stop you from reading this book. It's set in the 1980s in Malibu. It's about an older sister, Nina, and her siblings. Every year at the end of the year, they throw this huge summer party. A ton of famous people go, actors, surfers but you get to know this family of four siblings. This book has concurrent storylines, which I love because you get to see the past and then what's happening right now. As an eldest sister, there's so much about Nina that I can relate to. I love stories about siblings and family. Nina is such an amazing older sister. She had to do so much for her siblings and she sacrificed so much. I read this during the summer. It's a perfect summer read, but also just any time of the year because it is so well written. I'm a huge fan of this author's style. She also wrote The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which is one of the biggest books, and Daisy Jones and the Six, which I need to read both of those this year. 10 out of 10, put this on your list for sure. Last book in this section is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This is actually the most recent book I read. It took me a while to get into this story because there was such a long buildup, but once things started happening, I didn't want this book to end. This book is about Nora Stevens. She is a cutthroat literary agent who lives in New York City. She's a boss. Work is the center of her life. She's an amazing heroine, super misunderstood by the public, doesn't fit the mold of what people want her to be. Her sister Libby is pregnant and wants to go on a trip, just the two of them. So they go to this small town, completely opposite of New York City. It's kind of like a Hallmark movie setting. Really cute town. It's a romance book, but not only does it focus on the main characters, Nora and Charlie. It also goes deep into their sister relationship, which I love, you know, having a sister that I'm super close to. Such a charming read, small town vibes. If you're a book lover, definitely read this. The last genre is the most surprising to me and I never really thought I'd be into these books, but it is psychological thriller, complete 180 from the romance and contemporary. I'll preface by saying these three are not light reads. They are very intense, very dark. You should be 18 or older to read them. There are disturbing elements in certain parts, but that's not the majority of the book because I wouldn't read it. I think I started this at 8 p.m. and I stayed up the entire night reading it because I could not put it down and I was terrified to go to sleep after. This book is about Lowen, a struggling writer who is given a job offer to ghost write for Verity, who is the super famous writer, but she's in a coma right now. So Verity goes to their family house to finish writing Verity's books, but as she's there, she finds this manuscript she starts to read it and discovers all these secrets about the family, very dark and twisted. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. This book is insane. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just crazy. But I think if a book sucks you in and I can't put it down and I finish it in one sitting, then it's a good book. I'll recommend this with caution. <laughs> I think that's this whole genre. After finishing Verity, I wanted to see what other books are like this because I was so intrigued by the psychological thriller. These two books came recommended. Silent Patient, number one New York Times bestseller. This book takes place in London. It's about a psychotherapist, Theo, who gets a new job at a psychiatric unit with this infamous patient, Alicia Berenson. And her story is she was an artist, 
married to her husband and then one day he comes home she kills him and never says a word again so that's why she's known as the silent patient theo is determined to find out what happened with alicia why this happened why she never said a word again it's about the psychotherapist and patient interactions this book is also wild it took me days to kind of process what happened i would give this a solid four out of five the last book is the last mrs Parrish. this book is about this girl named amber who is super cunning and she basically works her way into this wealthy family she wants a life of money and power she's willing to do anything and it's just crazy it makes you think from all perspectives of who you let into your life what people will do for money and power these three books have insane plot twists so if you like being thrown off track or something that's just mind-blowing all three of these have that if you don't like reading you've probably just never found good books because i promise reading takes you to a different place it's so different from watching a show because you're pulled into this world of so 2023 my goal is going to be 30 books i already have a to be read list but if you guys have any recommendations of books that i can read please comment below and with that i think i'm going to end today's vlog thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas bye guys